Good afternoon. Phil Lindemann with your news from Avalanche Physical Therapy on Crystal 93. Traffic on the I-70 Mountain Corridor has been slowing down all month. This weekend was the slowest on the corridor since May, with just over 114,000 vehicles passing through both sides of the Eisenhower Tunnel Friday through Sunday. That's down 5% from last weekend, 22% from the last weekend in September. For a second straight weekend, traffic was lighter than this same time last year, but still busier than 2019. A summit local died of COVID-19 last weekend, Sunday, October 10th, the second virus fatality of fall, and the 11th since the onset of the virus. This fatality came as caseload reached its highest level since mid-August. It's been tapering off ever since then. Today, teenagers and 30-somethings are most likely to catch COVID. Candidates for Summit School Board are coming to Summit High School tonight for a public forum answering questions like, will they play nice with the three remaining board members if elected? Kim Langley of Four for the Kids. I still think that we would fight for the kids and we would be the voice for the kids and for the parents in the community. And we may not be able to make, you know, a ton of change, but at least we can be in there. Tonight's forum also covers the pros and cons for Measure 6B, a 20-year extension of property taxes for local housing, and Issue 6A, a property tax for Summit Fire and EMS. Lou Larina with the local fire union. We appreciate the trust and responsibility that you all put in us to be financially responsible, as we have been for decades, uh, but then going forth into this new, busier world uh, that we live in, and we're going to continue to be there for you. Tonight's forum starts at 5.30 at Summit High School. Reserve your free ticket on the Summit Daily website. Arapahoe Basin's open for the season, the second in the state behind Wolf Creek. So who's up next? Loveland will likely open by late October. And Keystone, they've been blowing snow after dark, but still with no opening date. Lauren Roberson with Keystone. We are going to open with our typical package, um, the school marm run down to Silver Spoon. And obviously it'll be weather dependent. Hopefully we can... Um, get some snow making on the lower half and maybe even open top to bottom. After the October resorts, next scheduled opening is Breckenridge, November 12th, and Winter Park, November 17th. Copper will be holding off until November 22nd this season. In sports, all Colorado teams are off today. And in local sports, Tigers football lost a showdown on Friday, 29-26 to to Palisade. Girls volleyball picked up their first win of a tough season, beating Brush, two sets to none, on the final day of a tournament at Battle Mountain over the weekend. All sports are off today, back tomorrow with boys soccer. Phil Lindemann with your news from Avalanche Physical Therapy on Crystal 93.